reel it in, break it down, and let's just have some conversation. You know what I'm saying? Wish power, wish power. I wouldn't say the iPhone is bad or anything. I just, I never had one. I never really had a, uh, I never wanted to get one, to be honest. The beef that I have is people who have iPhones that look down on people with Androids. You don't, you don't know my wife. One morning show that I just cannot get with, I'm sorry to say, The Breakfast Club. I'm sorry, it's Henri. They're just Henri. When we reach the masses, hon, they gonna look up this video. Oh, thanks for that, thanks. Can we get some positivity spewed out into the community? Uh oh, it's the time for the morning show. So there's radio shows, like I mentioned, and then there's podcasts. Uh, Bruce Bliss is a guy I follow. People get upset at me when I say unpopular stuff, but if I don't agree with something, I'm gonna tell you. Emma Chamberlain, stupid genius. Drew and Drew's grandma. Yeah, and check out uh, T.I.'s podcast out too. So if you into that, uh, definitely check it out. So next topic. Top 50 uh, artists of all time. So there's a list. And that's the last one. Well, T.I. made a list. Uh... Oh, T.I. made this list. No, nah, he didn't start it though. The first who started, I forget. I forget who it was, but people were upset about it but he talked about it on this podcast yeah he talked about it and he he put a 50 list and people were upset him by this 50 list my thing is it's, it's a personal oh okay i kind of seen it a it's an opinion based thing huh i mean if you say your opinion if you, this is your top 50 that's your top 50. yeah i think but is that true to everybody else no that's just that's my personal opinion Music is opinion based. That's why I'm saying people get so upset about that. I've seen this a few times recently where they were saying negative things about Jay Z. It's one one tweet I saw somebody said something like Jay Z couldn't wrap himself out of a brown paper bag or something like that. And I was like, this has to be like a 14 year old kid. That's different between you not liking Jay Z and telling me he can't rap. That's just, yeah, that's a yeah. Lie. That's not even true. Like, that's just a lie. I'm it's like, okay, because that's just a lot. Yeah, because even if, because here's the thing, even if you don't really know a lot about rap music or even if that's not your, your vibe, Jay-Z has come out with some pretty catchy hits. You know what I'm saying? He's like so, the only rapper in history to rap in literally three different decades. Well, well, well. He's literally been out for like three decades now. Yeah, but so has Snoop and Ice Cube. That's and my, that's what, well, as far as like to stay as hot as he is, nobody else has done that. To stay this, he still puts out. Yeah, the longevity is. Yeah, everything. he's like the only person I know is this, but, literally this popular. But I'm um, just for him to say that he's no good at all. Like, I mean, like. No, if you say you don't like him, because, that's fine. Because, don't tell me he can't rap. But what I'm saying was, even if you don't like rap or really care for him when you start talking about i'm a hustler baby i just want you to know when you start talking about that song when you start talking about cheese when you start talking about no, the rush not. the rush hour song no nah, that's commercial too that's not well even what, but that's what i'm but that's what i'm saying because mm -hmm. even but even sucky rappers can't make commercial songs to save their lives So you gotta have something, but it's also the voice, you know, when we start. Is he my all time favorite? No, uh, but the man's got some talent. That's not a for me. But let's talk about the rappers that people forget about. I feel like people forget about Ludacris. I feel like people forget about Busta Rhymes. You know, somebody had a top 50 all time worst list and Ludacris was on that list. I was like, this has to be like four. It's got to be a young kid who doesn't know about Chicken and Berry. It's got to be a young kid that doesn't know about Red Light District. It's got to be a young kid who doesn't know about the creativity. I just I just was just talking about him the other day. I, I was like, you can act like that he is not one of the most creative rappers of all time. That for the first time was one of the greatest albums. That was his first album. Yeah. His first three albums were all time classics, period. At all. 100%. And you talking about a dude that can spit. Like, he, you know, he looked up to Redman and 
Thank you, a lot of people. I mean, clearly, people don't and people don't know about like red, like it's just people like, forget it's, about Red Man and Method Man. It's just people. I, I that's why I like a lot of people is again. It's part. It's it's different of uh. Everybody has their own opinion, but don't tell me certain people just because you never listen to them that they can't rap. Because I there's plenty of people, and. Again, it's not just commercial. Obviously, you can look at commercial and say, oh, well, this person, this and that. But I'm saying, like, uh, listening to underground stuff or, you know, songs that really didn't catch that wave of, you know, TV time. You have to go back and listen to that stuff to really know. And I, I just feel like it's just a lot of kids that say nonsense like that. Like, come on. Oh, and also, I know we haven't brought up any female rappers, but that's a whole other conversation for a whole other day. And this video is already very long. Last topic. Disney versus Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. I like both very much, and it depends on the era that we are speaking on. I will say 90s cartoons, hands down, Nickelodeon, and that, that's just the tea. Now, did I like Timon and Pumbaa? Yes. Did I like DuckTales? Yes. Recess wasn't really 90s, but it was for like 90s kids. Yeah, I liked all those shows, and those were shows that were on Disney. But when you start talking about cartoons like Rugrat, Hey Arnold, Cat Dog, Rocket Power, SpongeBob. Well, SpongeBob may not even be spoken because that is he's just king. You know, that's hello. hello. You know, that speaks for itself. But oh man, but then you then you look at live action shows. My brother, and me. All that, I Carly, Keenan and Kel. I mean, I Carly, Victorious. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But also, Disney came through though. Mm -hmm. But that's so Raven, and she's e and then Raven's even back on there with, Ra with Raven's house. Raven's up. It's still good. Even Stevens, Lizzie McGuire. That had really good movies too, though. The movies. Yeah, I yeah, mean, they had them in movies. They had Nickelodeon movies. For sure. Of course, of course. And when we're not talking about the big screen movies, we're talking about Disney Channel original series because Hello Brink. All right. Bring Hello. It, bring it my Hello, uh, Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Girls Motocross. was a freaking movement. Yeah, Motocross seventeen again. I, I mean. They had too many, dude. They had, they, they had them in movies for sure. Yeah, the original original movies. Now, Nickelodeon has some original movies. They just didn't have as many. But the few that they that Disney, that Disney Nickelodeon had were, were really good. The Fred movie was good. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Fred, Fred was good. They ended up turning Rugrats into a movie, but that did go to the big screen. But they they, they had a they had a few. They did more so. But they were just. Movies, but when it came to like just kind of Nickelodeon, just really knows the kid of the time, and they don't focus too much on trying to be family friendly. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but they really Nickelodeon to me was just really is all about kids is for the kid whereas disney is for the family yeah. and and disney they did what they could to appeal to whatever age group they were targeting with the show but they watered it down a lot so that parents would be like okay this is okay not not that anything is wrong with that but eventually you kind of miss the mark with the kid so some of the jokes and comedy that Nickelodeon was spewing out without a second thought. That's what made the difference because let's let's be honest, nineties parents <laughs> they, they didn't care. They didn't I, I won't say they didn't care, but nineties parents were a lot more lenient with T T T V time more than anyone has ever been before. But the parents uh, of the nineties kids love Nickelodeon. Shonda goes on and on and on. Oh, oh. Brother me, my brother me. Oh, yeah, I like, I like my brother. Oh, hey, Arnold, I like it. Woo, woo. And to me, that that's why I don't know. For the longest, I think Nickelodeon just really was a, just always just a step ahead of Disney for a long time. But Disney really didn't need to be a leader in TV because you have Disney World and they had all the Dis now all the princesses. They had all the kids movies. 
They have all the movies. On the big screen. So they really didn't need the lead in TV. So I think that wasn't really a focal point for them. Once they saw, I think, the movement that that was Nickelodeon and the shows they were producing, that's when you started getting stuff like that so right then. That's when you started to get Hannah Montana. And when they came out with Hannah Montana, oh, yeah. I, I think that, that, I mean, Disney's never been the same after that. Yeah. Cheetah, Cheetah Girls really, like, changed it, but that was a movie. But as far as, like, a TV show, I mean, my lord. But I will say, Tyena, you remember T Tyena? Yep. And that So Raven were very similar. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Take from that what you will, but Tyena and that's over we were very similar. Now we see which one had the longevity, right. but that's a whole other conversation for another day. I'm just saying. Da -da 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 -da. But no, ha for one, they haven't been able to top that show. They've had shows that come really close, but what's been, you know, right now you have sh you have shows like Liv and Maddie. Uh, you had uh, Jesse that came on for a really long time and then they had a spin off of that. I know that's kind of past what you know about. But now they have descendants and, and everything. But man, the the days of Hannah Montana, freaking Miley Cyrus. I didn't watch that so I I couldn't I stopped watching Disney so I'm not She's my favorite. Yeah, but I, I love everybody makes a say. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Anyways, a final consensus on the last topic is Disney and Nickelodeon. Very, very strong for very different reasons. But we will not forget Cartoon Network, who in its own right, yeah, stood its awesome. own. But Cartoon Network had no competition. They, could they, <laughs> they, that, that's a whole other category. So that's the only reason we didn't put them in. Because you can't really, that's kind of comparing like apples and oranges because Cartoon Network only did cartoons. Mm -hmm. And then they also show like the classic tar cartoons like Tom and Jerry and things of that nature. So you can't really compare that to that. And Cartoon Network made Nickelodeon seem like Disney Channel with some of the, because they, 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 were, they were kind of vulgar. They were a little vulgar. Now, Nickelodeon calmed down, because you remember way back when, Nickelodeon did actually show Ren and Stimpy, which I have no idea how that show, mm -hmm. looking back at it now, how that show was on Nickelodeon. Or that, Marco's, uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life was also kind of... Yeah. But as a kid, you... I, I But really, I, I never knew anything was wrong with it. But as an adult now, looking back on it and really getting some of the jokes... Some of them were, I guess it was for the parents who were watching it with their kids. It was meant to be funny for them. So, because mm -hmm. let's be honest, sitting and watching kids shows all day, it, I mean, it can be really, if it's not so, if it's not your tea. So I think it was more, I don't think it was so much about, try, oh, we're trying to brainwash kids. I think it was, let's give something for the parents to enjoy too. So it was a lot of subliminal stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, were they trying to corrupt us? Maybe. Did it work? Seems like it, but <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Illuminati, don't take me. No. Don't take me. I'm not implying that Nickelodeon and Disney are involved in Illuminati in any way. It was a joke. Let it go, people. Anyways, um, that's all we have time for today. We really hope that you enjoyed this discussion and um All right. Well, um, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click that big red subscribe. <laughs> Take two. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and join the family because, I mean, we have content every friggin' Wednesday. Right? And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the thumbs up because we know that you like it. And... One more thing, and we'll let you go. Go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Right? Oh, oh and also go ahead and follow us on all of our social media. And uh, this one has Twitch. Okay, and uh, don't forget that our video was sponsored by LaCroix. So get your LaCroix beverages today. They have many flavors. It's very refreshing, and you can mix it with other flavors and <laughs> peace